corporate tax credits problem too. Corn Corporation has determined that it qualifies for a tax credit in the amount of $120,000. For the current year, it has tax liability before credits of $75,000. It expects at least that amount of tax liability next year. If the excess credit is not refundable but may be carried forward, calculate the value of the credit. Assume Corn uses a 4% discount rate to calculate present value. If the excess credit is refundable, what is the value of the credit? This question is dealing with corporate tax credits and the benefits of them. Also is going to consider time value of money. Now, this continues over discussion of credits. In a previous video, I talk about the benefit of a credit over deduction. Now, credit is even more valuable. This one brings into the aspect time value of money because as I mentioned in the previous video, there's limitations a lot of times on credit and you can see how those issues come up. Okay, so Corn Corporation qualifies for tax credit $120,000. Now, as I mentioned in the previous video dealing with tax credits, and again, please watch that if you haven't yet, you're limited many times with tax credits to the amount of tax liability due before considering credits. So here it's $75,000. So the best way to think about this is let's say this is year one. So year one, we're getting a $120,000 tax credit or that's, that's what potentially we can take, but we only have $75,000 of taxable tax liability. Make sure you distinguish taxable income and tax liability. Tax liability is actually dollar for dollar what you owe the government. Taxable income, you then multiply that by your, your, your rate that you owe it on. So if you have a 20% or 21% corporate tax rate, you would take, you know, taxable income times that rate and get your tax liability. Okay. So if 75,000 are tax liability before credits, that means in year one, we can use, and the, and the operative word we use here for credits is utilize. We can utilize $75,000 of the credits. The remaining, the remaining $45,000 of the credit, the remaining $45,000 of credit carries over to next year. Now the problem tells us that next year it expects at least the same amount of tax liability. So at least $75,000. So the idea here is, and again, we're assuming in this situation, I didn't re, you know, I already read it, but let's just go back and read it again. If the excess credit is not refundable. So we're saying that if we're limited in this hypothetical situation to just the tax liability amount, 75,000, we can only take the year one utilization about $75,000 in year one, but we still need to see the value in year two. That's what, that's what we also have to consider a discount rate of 4%. The idea here is time value of money. As many of you know, a dollar of tax savings today, right? Using in year one, so that first 75,000 is worth more than a dollar of tax savings in the future. It's all about time value of money, opportunity costs. What can you do with that money? So we need to think about it in today's value. What is the present value today of the credit? Well, the present value today, well, year one present value, right? This is the present value calculation. It's just going to be all $75,000 because we can boom, use that right now. Year two though, we are going to be able to use the 45,000 next year, but in today's dollars, put a little line here. In today's dollars, we're not, it's not going to be worth $45,000. It's going to be less than 45,000, right? A dollar today is worth a dollar but a dollar a year from now is not going to be worth a dollar to you. It's going to be worth less than a dollar present value. That's the idea of present value. So the way that we calculate that is we're going to take $45,000 and we're going to present value that by dividing, dividing by one plus the interest rate. So 1.04. And if we round that number, 45,000 divided by 1.04, that amount equals 43,000 $290 rounded, $290. So 43,290, when we add these two numbers together, this gives us the present value in today's dollars of what that credit is worth based on the limitation. And that's gonna equal $118,290. So it's not gonna be worth 75,000 or the full $120,000. It's gonna be worth $118,290. So again, to reiterate what's going on here, in year one, you can take up to 75,000 of the 120,000, but a lot of the tax credits in the tax law are limited. They're not refundable and they're limited by things like income or other items. 
So the idea here is that this one is limited by the amount of tax liability the corporation has before considering other before considering credits. So we've got 120,000. We take the first 75,000 this year, and we're told that next year expects at least the same amount of tax liability. So another around 75,000. Well, we've got 45,000 of of credit to carry over. We're going to have enough um, income basically to utilize this. So the idea is that you present value it by taking $45,000, divide that by 1.04, one plus the discount rate, which is 0.04 for a uh, 4% discount rate. And that gives us rounding $43,290. We then add the two numbers together. And then the answer is the value of the credit right now, if it's considered not refundable, is $118,290. Now, the second part of the question, this one's actually really easy. If it is refundable, which means that you're not limited by the $75,000, the value today of the credit is the $120,000. It's just the full amount because the idea is that you're not limited to the 75,000. So you basically would be able to report all of it and then you basically could request a refund from the IRS. So in that case, if it was refundable, it's $120,000. And there's another lesson here. Another lesson is we saw in a previous video, the benefit of deduction versus credit, which credit is much better. But I told you that credits are very, very limited. Deductions are limited too, but credits even more so. Another lesson is that um, non-refundable versus refundable credits. Some credits are refundable and, and many are non-refundable. Most are non-refundable, especially in the corporate tax realm, but there are some credits that are refundable. So the idea here is you see the benefit, right? That, that present value, that item, you can actually utilize this um, and get more value by being able to have a refundable because you get the money today, time value money, a big idea, very, very important concept.